In the last quarter of the 20th century, much of the world sat on the edge of an increasingly expensive theater seat, waiting for something momentous to occur. Christian aficionados of the Second Coming scenario were convinced that after 2,000 years, the other shoe was about to drop, and five of the era's best-known psychics predicted that Atlantis would soon re-emerge from the depths. To this last, Princess Lee Cherie responded, There are three lost continents. We are one. The lovers. In whatever esteem one might hold Princess Lee Cherie's thoughts, one must agree that the last quarter of the century was a severe period for lovers. It was a time when romantic relationships took on the character of ice and spring, stranding many little children on jagged and inhospitable flows. Nobody quite knew what to make of the moon anymore. Consider a certain night in August. The moon was so bloated it was about to tip over. For more than an hour, Lee Cherie stared at the sky. Does the moon have a purpose, she inquired. The same query put to the Remington SL3 typewriter elicited this response. Albert Camus wrote that the only serious question in life is whether to kill yourself or not. Tom Robbins wrote that the only serious question is whether time has a beginning and an end. Camus clearly got up on the wrong side of bed, and Robbins must have forgotten to set the alarm. There is only one serious question, and that is, who knows how to make love today? Answer me that, and I will tell you whether or not to kill yourself. Answer me that, and I will ease your mind about the beginning and the end of time. Answer me that, and I will reveal to you the purpose of the moon.